And I will say that people have worked very hard to make the treatment of animals more, more ethical. And again, where that line is drawn in the sand, I think it's very difficult. We do have Kathy Guillermo here. She's the Vice President of Lab Investigations for PETA, which stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Her organization believes all animal testing should be banned. Kathy, thank you for joining us Thank you. It's morning. a pleasure to be here. So, Kathy, obviously, as physicians, we, I recall my first ever procedure doing a cricothyrotomy, you know. Mm -hmm. On a dog? It was, it was, it was on a, it was on a dog that had been fully anesthetized. Fully anesthetized. Yeah. And all I kept thinking is, I hate that I have to do this. But at the same time, I wouldn't want the first time I ever do this to be on your child. I can't tell you how much as physicians, we hate the fact that there is animal testing. But Kathy, and I applaud you, because I think that you have done a great job of bringing this to the forefront. But, but you say absolutely no testing whatsoever on animals for anything? Well, I'm happy to tell you that if you were going to medical school today, you would not have to do any of those procedures on animals. Most experimentation on animals has nothing to do with disease research. It's basic R&D, it's product testing. And so, yes, we advocate the best kind of research, the kind that helps people without harming other beings. Mm -hmm. But, you know, certain disease processes treated with vaccines, polio vaccines, uh, smallpox yeah. vaccines, that wouldn't have happened without the use, use of trying them first mm -hmm. in, in animals. And, yeah. and back in the day when Millions they... of lives were saved oh, because exactly. of that. Yeah, you know, thousands and millions of kids were dying of these illnesses every year. And, and thanks to animal testing, it helped us develop these technologies. It's so different using a few cells in a test tube versus yes. the alive animal. You know, it's just system. different. And Kathy, I want to get your perspective on this animal. because <clears throat> I think everyone here agrees that the ethical treatment of animals is absolutely necessary. But, but one of your stances, which I absolutely agree with, is that 9 out of 10 failure rate in testing drugs in animals. That's right. But, but what if... It was a 9 out of 10 failure rate on humans. That's well, where, it, so what is, what is the alternative, I it guess? It actually I'm asking is you. a 50% failure rate on humans. And we know from information just released by Dr. Francis Collins, uh, head of the Human Genome Project, that 50% of drugs that test safe in animals are actually toxic to humans. So that asks the question what are we missing? What is being tested in an animal that doesn't work, it's thrown out? And might work in a human being. We're so different physiologically, even though yeah. we share this capacity for suffering. But, but what do you do? What is the solution if you say absolutely no testing whatsoever? The first test is going to be on humans. Well, no, it it's just... not. We are in an exciting new era of non-animal testing methods. Mm -hmm. And there are, for example, breast cancer research now involves very sophisticated 3D tissue construct models. And that's human tissue, human breast mm -hmm. cancer tissue that we can work with. Drug development is very exciting because there are now computer chips that actually mimic the drug going through the system from the liver through the entire human system. We know how a human will react. So I think the beauty here is the more technology that's in place where we can use it, that's a good thing. That's a good thing for everyone. And I don't, again, I'm sitting here struggling in my own mind where you draw the line because I still feel like there are probably some unique circumstances where I could see it justified. But, but I do understand your perspective, and I think that you have, have done a great job of pushing for, for animal rights, and I think that the medical community, in my experience, has started to respond. So we applaud you, and, and thank you for what you're doing.